When I left dinner one evening, an individual asked one of my friends, what happened to him? That got me thinking, what did happen to me? I was 19 years old when I pinned on my first badge, and I was going to change the world. When I was 22 years old, I stood in the living room of a small apartment and watched a person take his last breaths. He had a gunshot wound to the side of his head. I can still remember the metallic taste of blood in the air. I was 24 years old when I chased down a suspect who had been waiting in a house to ambush and kill a victim. Catching him began the longest fight of my life, and there was a time that I wasn't sure the good guys were going to win. I was 25 years old when a suicidal subject pulled a gun out of his backpack. I remember deciding to shoot him, slowly pulling back on the trigger when he dropped his gun. We both survived that night. I was 26 years old when my best friend from high school killed himself. I was a seasoned law enforcement officer by then, and I had failed to save his life. I was 28 years old when a driver tried to ram me off the road during a car chase. I remember the smell of the brakes when it was over. That was the first time I went home thinking I almost didn't make it. I was 30 years old when I was the victim of an attempted murder during a warrant service. I went home after work, hugged my daughter tight, and went back to serving warrants five hours later. I was 32 years old when I answered my phone and heard the words, Tony's dead. I helped wash the blood off Tony's SWAT vest in the canine wash tub. The next day I stood watch with his coffin. I was 33 years old when I stood at the scene of a double homicide of two law enforcement officers and was asked, are you okay? My only response was no. I was 35 years old when I watched my partner get shot in the face. I stood over him in the trauma room, holding his hand, and I was positive I lied to him when I said he would be okay. I can still see his teeth covered in blood. The nurses handed me his wedding ring and wallet. I was 39 years old when I heard the screams of a son finding out his father, a law enforcement officer, had just been killed by a suspect. It echoed down the long hallways of the building. I'm 42 today and rarely in position to face new trauma but every day I carry this past with me, like we all do. I listed 10 things that could qualify as a traumatic incident for anyone. This is what haunts law enforcement across the country today, and we aren't talking about it. Until I made this presentation, no one in my life knew about this accumulation of trauma. Many law enforcement officers have a highlight reel of trauma that plays in their head. It may not be there all the time, but it can come back on specific dates, when a certain smell hits the air, or when the breeze blows. Trauma will change you. How are you preparing for yourself, your partner, and your family?